In today's video, we're going to be previewing WWE No Mercy and going over some match predictions, so stay tuned. What's going on guys? So as I said, we're going to go over each of the matches for No Mercy, SmackDown's own pay-per-view. And the first one we got here is Nikki Bella vs. Carmella, which kind of just kind of flew up in the air this past Tuesday on Friday Night SmackDown. Carmella and Nikki Bella have, begin to be have begun getting a little bit of a feud going on. And now they're going to have a match at No Mercy, a match which I think we see Nikki Bella win being one of her first big pay-per-view matches since she has returned to WWE. Next up, we got a WWE Championship match between the two women of uh, Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss. Alexa earned a chance at the title after winning a fatal five-way match on SmackDown. And I think this is Becky's first title reign, so I do not see her giving it up just quite yet. And also, I don't really think Alexa Bliss is ready to reign as the champion. As much as I do like her, I think she's still a little young in the WWE, and it might be a little more time until she does hold that title. But I do think she has the potential to hold it at one time, but we're going to give this one to Becky Lynch. The next match we got is a tag team title match with Heath Slater and Rhino taking on The Usos. The Usos will square off against Slater and Rhino after injuring and attacking the knee of Chad Gable in a match versus American Alpha that won them a number one contenders match. The Usos plan on letting nothing get in their way on their way to the gold, but I think that The Usos are still not a championship material type of team in the eyes of the WWE, and therefore I think Slater and Rhino are going to retain the titles this Sunday. The next match we got is The Miz vs. Dolph Ziggler, career for the title. This is a really intriguing match to me on Sunday, being the way you wonder about Dolph Ziggler. But Ziggler has agreed to put his career on the line for a shot at the Intercontinental title. Career matches in WWE do not normally end well for the challenger, but unlike most, Ziggler did not break any WWE policy rules that would cause him to have to leave. One can only wonder if it is a big storyline, if he is tired of being a mid-carder, and if he wants to take his talents elsewhere because of the rareness of one of these matches ending in the challenging person putting their career on the line actually winning the match, I'm going to say that The Miz wins this one and hopefully we can see Ziggler return in a year or two with maybe a different gimmick or more hype. Next up, we got Bray Wyatt vs. Randy Orton, a rivalry that's been flaming for a while now. The two have been playing mind games with each other lately and are fighting to prove who is the ultimate predator between the two, with Orton's last pay-per-view match being a beatdown by Brock Lesnar. I think he picks up the W against Bray Wyatt on this pay-per-view event to turn it around. And finally, we got the big match of the night, AJ Styles vs. Dean Ambrose vs. John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. AJ Styles is just the current WWE Champion. And once again, Styles and Cena are in a match together. Some surprise, right? Not really. This time, though, with Dean Ambrose involved, he'll spice it up a little bit. Styles finally made his reign to the top, though. And I think he's going to stay there here for a little while. Thus resulting in an AJ Styles win. I'm projecting a pin of Dean Ambrose. So a Cena versus Styles Championship match can be in the future. But then again... Who wants to see an AJ Styles vs. John Cena match for the 3,974th time this year? Please, I really hope that doesn't end up being the thing that happens. But at the same time, it does seem like something WWE would do. So, as for this video, guys, I hope you liked it. If there's different videos you want to see, always let me know. As always, guys, hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.